Mo's opinion, isn't it? You know, so I think that um, Mo, uh, like I said, in his first year, would have uh, uh, continued to play in centre midfield, and his performance has continued to be as good as his first season with us. Like I mean, and I think that in the end, those performances uh, didn't quite live up to the ones he he gave us in the early part of his career here with us. So uh, my my uh, responsibility is. Uh, is the team and the, and the whole team, not not one particular player. Um, and I think that um, if there's a, a particular position you need to play somebody in and ask them to play there to find if they can play that little bit better than what they did, then you try and do that. That's why I moved Mo around. Um, if he wasn't happy with it uh, and he's moved on, then that, that's fine from my point of view. I have to look after 25 players throughout the season and I select the best team that I think is available to play against the opposition that we're playing. And and within that, you know, a player picks picks himself. That's what a player does. So And a player drops himself. Uh, that's what a player does, not me. They do it themselves by calculating and, and um, keeping track of their performances. And when the performances don't fall to the level that you expect, then their position is in jeopardy. And if the performance does live to my expectations and everybody else's, they stay in the team. Between Diani's comments and then David Gold reacting to them on Twitter today saying, Mohamed Diani said it was always his aim to play for a team higher up the league. Good luck at Hull, Mohamed. If that were to hear, it's going to be quite spicy. Uh, how do you react to that? I don't think it'll be spicy at all. I think it'll be about a game of football from our point of view that uh, we want to go and try and, and uh, achieve uh, um, some points and put some points on the board. And uh, and I think that every Premier League game, every Barclays Premier League game that we uh, compete in particular way is very, very difficult. And How do you feel if the Ami scores the winner from 25 yards? It, it'll be one of those things, won't it? That'll be one of those. But the season's 38 games, not one. So everybody particularly from your point of view, we'll make a, a fuss about it. Our responsibility is to go and play as a team and make sure all City doesn't win. Just can you elaborate on, on Neil? He's obviously a vital member of your back on the staff. He's been with him a long time. Is that the, the main reason you want to keep him here? Uh, yes, I think so. I think we've had a huge amount of changes in the in the, in the the squad. I think, that, um, I think that when you've got somebody who you not only knows does a great job, but you trust, uh, in, you know, He's my right hand man, and one of the most important things as a manager is he, is the man you have alongside you. You trust, you trust more than you know more than most. Not that anybody else does anything like that, but it's just over the working relationship of over many years. You know, so uh, we work very well together, and I've worked very well for many many years. Just finally, for me, Andy Carroll you touched on it a bit earlier. There's reports to be back as early as the end of October. I'm not, not, not. I've no time whatsoever to put on it. Like just that he has started. Um, he has started some jogging, and uh, and I think that um, to predict the time is is wrong for for not just for everybody, but particularly for Andy. Um, when you've had an, uh, an operation of that that type, we have to be guided by the specialist that did it, and of course the the head of medical and and, and Andy himself to make sure that we do not take any any risks too early.